This is the battery that's taking YouTube by storm. This is the Watt Cycle 300 amp hour mini. And so, as you can see, this thing is incredible. Look how tiny this is. It's 15 inches by 7.6 inches by 10 inches and weighs 57 pounds. It's amazing the amount of power that is crammed into this little bitty tiny package. You can see the difference between the 300 amp hour mini from Watt Cycle and this 300 amp full size that I tested just a couple of months ago. How they got this extra capacity and the, in a smaller package, I don't know. I don't care. It's been tested. It pulls full capacity and it's just amazing. The 300 amp mini also has low temperature charging protection. So if you're in a cold environment, it will shut itself off to protect, which has been tested and verified. We've got a 200 amp BMS, which means that a single battery can support up to 2,500 watts on an inverter. I'll show you a trick here in just a second. It's currently listed at $530. As of the time of this video, it's on back order, but you can go ahead and pre-order it now so you can be first in line when they come back into stock here in a couple of days. The only thing that's better than one of these 300 amp hour mini batteries is two of these 300 amp hour mini batteries. Let's take a look. So let's talk about series and parallel. So in parallel, we go positive, positive, negative, negative. Now in this configuration, we have achieved 12 volts at 600 amp hours, which gives you 7,680 watt hours. Okay, so you would use this setup to run traditional normal 12 volt items. But by having two batteries, it will allow you to reconfigure into series like this. And now we're going positive to negative, positive to negative. This is series and now we're in 24 volts. The total power hasn't changed but the system voltage has changed. And why does that matter? Why does that matter? Why would you want a 24 volt system instead of a 12 volt system? The difference is with the charging and the discharging. So when charging by solar, your charge controller is going to have a different maximum wattage input rating, the, the, the maximum number of solar panels that you can put into the system. This Lee time 60 amp charge controller will run a 12, 24, or 48 volt battery system. However, on a 12 volt battery system, the maximum amount of solar you can put into this is 900 watts. On a 24 volt system, you can put 1800 watts into it. So just by reconfiguring the battery, you can just cram more solar power into the batteries with the same equipment. Now let's talk about getting power out of the batteries. So on a 12 volt system, I use the guideline 10 to one. So if you're pulling a thousand watts out of your inverter, you're pulling about a hundred amps out of the battery. And that's a little off to paint on your inverter, but it's a pretty good place to start. So 10 to one. On a 24 volt battery system, that number gets cut in half. So on, if you're pulling a thousand watts out of your inverter, you're only pulling 50 amps out of your battery system. Since these batteries are rated to a 200 amp BMS, you're actually doubling the amount of total system power that you can pull out of this. You can use a larger inverter if you wire these as 24 volts than as 12. You can get over 5,000 watts out of this as a system because the current went down. The advantage to that is twofold. Number one, you can use smaller wire since your current is uh, not so high. And also it just makes the system just a little bit safer. When you get in kind of higher currents, you're, you're getting to you know, overheating issues and, and possibilities. Uh, in a previous video, when I was doing a capacity test, my four gauge wire was starting to get warm. It wasn't hot, but it was warm. 
by cutting the power in half, I've sort of you know increased the overall system safety safety without going to enormous size wires. People will ask about running their 12 volt appliances in a 24 volt system, and that's really pretty easy. You got these little voltage converters, these buck boosters that will reduce the voltage from 30 volts down to 12. So if you have something you really, really, really want to run, these are 20 bucks or so. However, a lot of 12 volt appliances like RV refrigerators will also run on 24 volts. So before you get a converter like this, check the equipment and see if it will operate. So you might not have to use this regardless of whether you're going to run a 12, 24, or even 48 volt system, you are just not going to beat the size and weight and price of the capacity of these batteries. You know, a lot of people are buying server rack mount batteries these days, which are 48 volts. Look at the total system power. A 48 volt battery at 100 amp hours is 5.1 kilowatt hours. The cheapest server rack battery I've seen is around $1,100. They're usually between $1,100 and $1,300. These two batteries together, regardless of what, what configuration you put them in, is 7.6 kilowatt hours. So you're getting 20% more power for about the same price, if not less. You get a discount if you buy two or more, and I've also got a discount code down below. So if you're interested in some big, big, big power, now is the time to dive on these things. They've got free shipping going on and they're accepting pre-orders. They should be back in stock any day now. Jump on them, be first in line. People are talking about tariffs. Who knows what's gonna happen with pricing next year. So these are some amazing, amazing deals. You're getting a ton of power in a little bitty package. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.